Hello guys, me again, <laughs> back in the car. Oh, all I'm gonna say is there is some miserable people around today, big time. You can't see me because there's a load of sun in the way. No, I can't do it. Uh, but yeah, there's a load of miserable bloody people out today. All of them. Look, there's another one. So yeah, I've been to get my hair cut today and uh, sort myself out a little bit. So I'm just uh, driving back now. Yeah, there's uh, been a bit of a weird one today. There's been some happy, lovely people and then there's been some right moody asses. That's one of them. I'm more disappointed because I went to go and get uh, some cookie dough and the, the shop's not open and I was well disappointed. Waited all month for that for payday. But no, it, it is not open today. Today is my day off. Proudly sponsoring Real Madrid. <laughs> Real Madrid, you owe me some sponsorship money. Just saying, no joking. Yeah, it's been a bit of a weird one, big time. I know it's been uh, a while since I did a, a video for you all, but uh, no, it was uh, a, bit of a, a bit of a difficult one. I'm not picking my nose, don't worry. Um, yeah, but better, been really busy actually since the last time I vlogged. Again, also in the car. <laughs> But um, no, it's really busy with work, to be honest, and sorting mine and Kira's wedding bits and bobs out, because uh, we've actually set a date for our wedding, so it's getting it all organized and getting everything all done for it. But at the minute, it's all going to plan, so all good. But yeah, no, it's been a while since I said I'd do a vlog for you, just haven't, literally haven't had a chance. But, uh, Today's the first time I've actually had a chance to to do it. So I thought, why not? Get the camera out, get it going, get it all done and sorted. So uh, I'm trying to look at the sun. I wonder if I do that. No, not going to make any difference whatsoever at all. Oh dear. So the, the last time I did a vlog for you all, I got sent a couple of questions, which I will happily answer. Um, one was from uh, a gentleman, um, I'm really sorry I didn't make a note of your name, um, uh, but it, all it was was asking why I bought this car, because um, obviously I mentioned last time that I've got obviously a new car, well it wasn't new, but it was a newer car to the one I had last time I did videos for. Um, and he asked me, I think from what he was saying is, I think he's looking at purchasing one himself and was asking obviously pros and cons, but the thing is I work for Ford, so I I see these cars every day, I, I sell Fords every day, so it is a no-brainer for me when I bought this because it does everything I need. I drive about 30, 40 miles um, to work, so it's about it is about 70-ish miles a day, roughly, that I'm doing. So, obviously, the diesel works well for me. But I know the way of the world, the diesels are going at the minute. So, government wants to get rid of the diesels, and they're doing well. But for me, the, the one of the things that I that went for me buying this car was the road tax. Now, for those of you that don't understand or don't have a driving license or don't have a car or anything like that and don't know how road tax works basically every car in the uk has to have valid road tax which means you have to pay the government or dvla a certain amount of money either monthly or outright for the year for you to um drive on the road obviously as well as having car insurance uh, fuel in the car and mot all that sort of stuff um so yeah my benefit with this is it's 20 pound a year to tax this uh, this vehicle, this Ford Focus ST, 
because of it being a 65 plate, so in 2015 or late 2015. Um, so the emissions laws back then were really, really good and there was no issues. So I get the benefit. But the thing is, if you buy this car now, uh, anything from 2017 onwards, am I going? Yeah, okay. Anything from 2017 onwards, um, you have to pay £145 road tax. Answer me that. Like, the government are dicks. Like, I said this and I'll say it again. Whack them all on minimum wage. No, she's not crossing over. Whack them all on minimum wage. Work seven, or six or seven days, like most of us do, work five, six, seven days a week. Whack them on a, a 40 something hour a week, which is what a lot of people do, myself included. Um, I can be doing anything from 40 hours upwards a week. Uh, Monday to Sunday, depending on obviously days off. But like, whack them on, whack them on minimum minimum pay, no commission, no bonuses, no nothing. See how they see how they do. They'll soon complain. But they, we'll, we'll leave that. At that I'm not getting into a government rant, but it is a government rant. <laughs> but yeah, um, that was the, the the main question I had or that I got was from a couple of people actually why I bought this car. Um, but the one gentleman himself got into a bit of detail. Um, so yeah, the main reason why I bought this car was obviously diesel, which is what I needed. It's a comfy drive, as much as I've got obviously racing Recaro seats, it is a very comfy ride, do not get me wrong. Um, I think they're fantastic cars, um, not just because I work for Ford, but I think they're fantastic cars in, in general. And they're just decent, they're easy to get parts, they're very reliable. As I said, road tax, I'm 27 in December and um my insurance is around 800 900 pound so it's not not too bad for this sort of car i know there's people saying that we sold a mustang to a gentleman a young gentleman who's only about 24 and his insurance was 900 pound on a five liter mustang so answer me that i just don't know how it works but it's one of them it, it happens it, it's it, it's one of these things but uh yeah, it's one of them. But yeah, that's one of the main things. The other one uh, question that I got from a couple of you people was, um, are videos going to be coming back? I'm going to say at the moment, because of where I am currently, obviously with my partner and so we're now getting married and we are in the, in the process of starting to get our, a house organized. So I would like to say yes, at some point videos will return. Um, and I may get Kira in on them. Um, Kira's very much into her artistic side. She's a very artistic person. Um, it's just at the moment we've had to obviously put them aside in terms of uh, doing our favorite stuff. So for me, my favorite things of everyone that knows me is obviously playing football, playing on the computer, driving my car, um, doing all sorts of things really, but it's, Kira's very artistic, so she loves drawing. Um, anything to do with art, she's she's there. Photography, all that sort of stuff. So she's very happy doing all that. But um, yeah, at the moment, I'm going to say, unfortunately, no. It's not coming back currently, or at this current moment in time, purely because I don't have anywhere to to do it. If that makes any sense, um, like. I just haven't got anywhere to put... Like, I've still got my computer and everything, don't get me wrong, I've still got like all the games and things. I just haven't got it plugged in or, or wired up or anything like that. It's in the loft, in like stored up, purely because I haven't got anywhere to put it. I have considered selling it. No, you're not going to like that. And obviously that means that Euro Truck could obviously be gone and all the other things I did used to play. But um, no, the, 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 the overall plan is to get the computer back up and running at some point um, it probably won't be until next year anyway because that's when we are looking at getting everything all sorted um, but yes I would I would like to get back into it that's coming from from in here yes I would because I did really enjoy it um, it took a lot of things away personal side um, it put me in my own little bubble like I know there's quite a lot of people that have been through, through it, but like at school, 
I wasn't like a popular kid at school. I was, don't get me wrong, like, you have your normal friends. And in school I had three main friends. I had other, other friends, but my, my main best friends were three people. Um, and one of those that's no longer, I don't know, I haven't spoken to them for years since school um, or since today. Um, I was friends with a, with, a, with a guy who was very, very nice to, to people, um, but then took, boom, snapped and go, I got quite badly bullied and it's not nice. And if anyone is obviously watching this, that oh, is getting bullied. As much as people say talk to someone or talk to your parents or anything like that, it's not as as easy as that. It's not as simple as that because you you are scared deep down, not that well, not of what they will do, but you're going to school, and you're getting bullied by someone. You're not going to school to get bullied. You're going to school to learn, and I just it, it is hard, but you do have to tell someone. I know it's not as easy, but you you do like take it from someone that has been bullied like. I was quite tall in school as well. Um, I was like six foot. I'm still six. I'm six foot three, or no, six foot two, a little bit. Um, but like in terms of that, don't take anything. Stand up for yourself. Like as I said, I know it's not easy to do it, but you need to. Like my mum and said always said to me, grow a backbone, and that's what you need to do. You need to grow a backbone. You need to stick up for yourself. You're not a worthless person, which is what people make you think. But yeah, in terms of school, I got bullied. So I like bullied quite bad by that person. I actually got attacked by that person, and uh, we no longer obviously spoke or anything like that. Um, but yeah, that's the one reason why I got into doing like YouTube. I didn't do it for like fame or fortune or anything like that because that's not me. I'm anyone that knows me. I'm not in it for that. I'm in it for my pleasure and for everybody else's enjoyment. If people are getting joy off it, then fantastic. Like, I'm happy. But if people aren't, then it's not, you know, it's not working, is it? But yeah, that was why I got into it. So yes, at some point, there will be videos coming back on my channel um, for those sort of things. Um, I will try and get more videos, if I can, up there, uploaded. that make it nice and easy for everybody. Um, but yeah, and then the last uh, question was, uh, which again, it came up quite. Um, I wouldn't say well, it came. It did come up quite a few times. Um, what was my overall plan for for my channel? And I genuinely said I don't don't have one. Like take every day as it comes. I know a lot of people are. I need to plan, plan, plan. But for me, I don't. I don't necessarily see the need to plan. If that makes any sense, I know it's probably not. But. I, I genuinely am that kind of person that takes every day as it comes. Obviously, anything important, cyclist. Uh, anything important that comes up in life that I do need to plan for, then I'll happily plan for it. But I, I don't. I don't necessarily need to, if that makes any sense. So yeah, put it that way. But yeah, apart from that, like that was that was the last couple of questions. I had the, the same sort of questions popping up. Um, I have had questions and videos from before. I just haven't had a chance to go through them people are asking videos from like two three years ago where asking for mods on trucks and I'm just like I don't have them um, I genuinely don't know what they are or, or what the links are a lot of links now from my videos because I haven't done them in such a long time are expired or are no longer available um, I know a lot of people are asking what the fuck is that oh it's a brick in the road uh, a lot of people are asking for um, like the um the Eddie Stobart link for the Volvo that I did the videos of a while ago, a long time. Um, which I'll be honest, I've had a look for them and I can't find them. So, by all means, if anyone knows better than I do, I, it was quite an old video. Um, it was a video of the new Eddie Stobart livery with I think it was a little girl's name on it that um, oh, I can't remember actually if she went missing or if she, if she had cancer. I, I can't remember, I genuinely cannot remember which one it was. Um, but yeah, if I can't find them. Um, obviously, I, I can't get my computer up and running until I have space to put it. So I won't be able to get the links or anything because I have got a spreadsheet on there with the links or a document with the links. It's just getting them. But hey, hey, hey. So that was it, really. It was just a, a quick update video to say I'm still here. I am doing videos. It's just when I can do them, that's the only thing. 
but I am going to try and do a couple of car videos. Um, if you know, let's see what see what people think of them. Um, but yeah, no, it's I, I love what I'm doing. Um, I've always enjoyed doing YouTube. I know Kira's always said to me that do YouTube is not a problem. Like she's not ever against it. She's obviously for it. So uh, there will be uh, a point in the future where Kira is in videos. Uh, she's not in today, she's at work. So I've been shopping, had me a cup, gonna have got some food and chocolate, Kinder chocolate for anyone out there wondering what it is. If you're American, Kinder chocolate, you need to try it because it's the best chocolate out there. Take it from me. Kinder, little mini chocolate Kinder bars and you can get the, the chocolate Kinder egg as well. I'm tw nearly 27 and I still like Kinder chocolate. <laughs> uh, 27 going on four. So. But yeah, I'm going to leave it there. I'm not going to drag on anymore. It's been near enough like a 15 minute, 16 minute video. So I will leave that there, guys. By all means, send me some questions. You know, I'll, I'll more than happily answer them. I'll either do it like this when I'm on the way home from work um, or, you know, or if I'm on the way to work. But um, yeah, I, I do enjoy doing it. So I'll leave it there, guys. Any questions I said, please fire them at me. And uh, we'll see you all next time. Bye, guys.